Today, we're diving into a powerful topic that resonates with many of us. You don't care and they hate it. When you reach a place where other people's opinions and attempts to ruffle your feathers no longer affect you, it can be incredibly empowering. However, it can also drive others wild. Inspired by the teachings of Dolores Cannon, we're going to explore five key points on why your newfound indifference leaves others bewildered and how you can continue to thrive in this space. Let's get into it. 1. Embracing Emotional Independence One of the most liberating feelings in life is reaching a point where the opinions of others no longer dictate your happiness or peace of mind. This state of emotional independence is a powerful testament to your personal growth and self-awareness. Dolores Cannon often spoke about the importance of understanding and controlling your own emotions. When you embrace this level of independence, you become resilient to external negativity, maintaining your inner calm and confidence regardless of outside influences. Embracing emotional independence means you've done the hard work of self-discovery and healing. You've confronted your insecurities, acknowledged your triggers, and learned to respond rather than react. This journey involves deep self-reflection and often a re-evaluation of your values and boundaries. By achieving this, you reclaim your power and assert control over your emotional landscape. It's a process of recognizing that your worth is not determined by others, but by your own intrinsic value and beliefs. People around you may find this unsettling because they can no longer manipulate your emotions. They're used to getting a rise out of you, but now their provocations fall on deaf ears. This shift can make them feel powerless as they realize their influence over you has diminished. They may try even harder to push your buttons, but your steadfast composure only highlights their inability to affect you. This can lead to frustration on their part as they grapple with the loss of control they once had over your emotional state. Remember, this is your journey and your peace is paramount. Emotional independence doesn't mean you're indifferent or unfeeling. It means you choose where to invest your emotional energy it means you're selective about what and who deserves a reaction from you. This selective engagement protects your mental and emotional well-being, allowing you to focus on what truly matters to you. Emotional independence is a sign of maturity and self-respect. It's about setting healthy boundaries and not allowing others to dictate your emotional climate. By embracing this independence, you pave the way for a more peaceful and fulfilling life, driven by your own aspirations and values rather than the whims and judgments of others. This journey is ongoing, and each step you take towards emotional independence further solidifies your resilience and inner strength. 2. The Power of Inner Peace Inner peace is a profound state of being that many strive to achieve. It means being at peace with yourself, regardless of external circumstances. Dolores Cannon believed that inner peace comes from understanding your true self and purpose. When you reach this state, the chaos around you seems less significant and your reactions become more measured and calm. Attaining inner peace requires a deep connection with your inner self. It involves recognizing and accepting all parts of who you are, the strengths, the weaknesses, the fears, and the aspirations. By embracing your authentic self, you lay the foundation for a serene and balanced life. This self-awareness fosters a sense of purpose, guiding you through life's challenges with grace and composure. When you know your true self, you are less likely to be swayed by external pressures and more focused on what truly matters to you. Your newfound tranquility can baffle those who are used to seeing you react impulsively. They might try harder to disturb your peace, but their efforts are futile. Your calmness in the face of their chaos only highlights their inner turmoil. When others see you maintaining your composure despite their provocations, it underscores the contrast between your inner serenity and their inner conflicts. This can be both puzzling and frustrating for them, as they realize they no longer have the power to unsettle you. Nurturing inner peace is an ongoing process. Meditation is a powerful tool that helps you quiet the mind and connect with your inner self. Through regular meditation, you cultivate mindfulness, allowing you to stay present and centered, even in stressful situations. Self-reflection is equally important. 
It helps you understand your reactions and triggers, enabling you to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Journaling, practicing gratitude, and setting aside time for introspection are all effective ways to enhance self-reflection. Staying true to your values is another crucial aspect of maintaining inner peace. When your actions align with your beliefs, you experience a sense of integrity and fulfillment. This alignment acts as a compass, guiding you through life's challenges with confidence and clarity. By adhering to your principles, you build a solid foundation of trust in yourself, which is essential for sustaining inner peace. Your inner peace is a testament to your personal growth and resilience. It demonstrates that you have moved beyond being reactive to external negativity and have embraced a more balanced, composed way of living. This journey towards inner peace not only benefits you, but also sets a positive example for those around you. Your calm presence can inspire others to seek their own inner tranquility, creating a ripple effect of peace and understanding. In conclusion, the power of inner peace lies in its ability to transform your life from the inside out. By understanding and accepting your true self, practicing meditation and self-reflection, and staying true to your values, you cultivate a profound sense of tranquility that remains unshaken by external chaos. This inner peace not only enhances your own well-being but also serves as a beacon of calm for those around you, highlighting the transformative power of serenity and self-awareness. 3. Letting go of toxic relationships As you grow emotionally and spiritually, you might find that certain relationships no longer serve your well-being. Dolores Cannon emphasized the importance of surrounding yourself with positive energy and cutting ties with those who drain you. This can be challenging, especially if it involves close friends or family, but it's crucial for your growth. When you start to distance yourself from toxic individuals, they may react negatively. They're used to having a certain hold over you, and your detachment can make them feel threatened. They might try to guilt trip you or create drama to regain control. Stand firm in your decision to protect your peace. Establish clear boundaries and communicate your need for space assertively. Focus on building relationships that uplift and support you, rather than those that bring you down. Seek out connections rooted in mutual respect and positivity. Surround yourself with people who inspire and celebrate your successes. By letting go of toxic relationships, you create space for healthier, more fulfilling connections, fostering your continued emotional and spiritual growth. 4. Authentic Self-Expression Expressing your true self without fear of judgment is a powerful aspect of personal growth. Dolores Cannon taught that being authentic is key to fulfilling your life's purpose. When you stop caring about what others think, you start living more authentically and boldly. This shift can be liberating, allowing you to break free from societal expectations and embrace your unique identity. Authenticity can make others uncomfortable, especially if they're used to a more subdued version of you. People often expect you to fit into a particular mold that aligns with their perception of you. When you break away from this and start showing your true colors, it can disrupt their comfort zone. However, this discomfort is a positive sign that you're on the right path. It indicates that you're growing and evolving beyond the limitations others have placed on you. Embrace this discomfort as a sign that you're on the right path. Don't shrink yourself to make others feel comfortable. Your true self is meant to shine brightly. Living authentically means embracing your passions, values, and beliefs without apology. It's about being honest with yourself and others, even if it means standing out or facing criticism. When you live authentically, you inspire others to do the same. Your courage to be yourself can serve as a powerful example, encouraging those around you to embrace their true selves as well. Authenticity has a ripple effect, fostering a more genuine and accepting environment. Remember, your light is not meant to be hidden. It's meant to illuminate the way for others. In a world that often encourages conformity, your authenticity is a breath of fresh air. It challenges the status quo and paves the way for more meaningful and honest connections. So, let your true self shine without hesitation. Celebrate your uniqueness and let it guide you toward fulfilling your life's purpose. 
5. The Liberation of Indifference Indifference doesn't mean you stop caring about everything. It means you selectively choose what and who deserves your emotional energy. Dolores Cannon often discussed the importance of focusing on what truly matters. By being indifferent to negativity and drama, you conserve your energy for positive and meaningful pursuits. This mindful allocation of your emotional resources allows you to invest in aspects of life that bring you joy, growth, and fulfillment. This indifference can be incredibly liberating. It shows that you're no longer a puppet to others' expectations or manipulations. Instead of being easily swayed by external influences, you remain grounded and centered in your own truth. This newfound sense of control and autonomy empowers you to navigate life with greater clarity and purpose. You no longer waste time and energy on things that don't serve your higher good, allowing you to focus on your goals and aspirations. People who once had control over your emotions now find themselves powerless. This shift can frustrate them, but it's a clear indicator of your growth. Their attempts to provoke a reaction or pull you into unnecessary drama will fall flat as you've learned to detach from their negative influence. This transformation underscores your resilience and highlights the progress you've made in your journey towards emotional independence. Keep focusing on what brings you joy and fulfillment and let go of what doesn't. Surround yourself with positive influences and engage in activities that nurture your soul. By doing so, you create a life that resonates with your true self and aligns with your values. This liberation through indifference is not about apathy, but about intentionality. Choosing to invest your emotional energy wisely and purposefully. Indifference to negativity is a powerful form of self-care. It protects your mental and emotional well-being, enabling you to maintain a balanced and harmonious life. This state of being allows you to respond to challenges with calmness and composure, rather than being dragged down by unnecessary stress and conflict. Embracing this mindset fosters a sense of inner peace and enhances your overall quality of life. In conclusion, the liberation of indifference is a testament to your personal growth and emotional maturity. By selectively choosing where to invest your emotional energy, you reclaim your power and create a more fulfilling and joyful existence. This shift not only benefits you, but also serves as an inspiration to others, encouraging them to focus on what truly matters and let go of what doesn't. Reaching a place where you no longer care about others' negative opinions is a significant milestone in your personal and spiritual journey. Inspired by Dolores Cannon's teachings, we've explored the importance of emotional independence, inner peace, letting go of toxic relationships, authentic self-expression, and the liberation that comes with indifference. Your growth may unsettle those around you, but that's their issue, not yours. Keep thriving, keep shining, and continue to embrace the fullness of who you are. Your journey is unique, and your peace is priceless. If this message resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Balanced Journey channel, and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Remember, you are loved, you are valued, and you are on the right path. Keep pushing forward, stay blessed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your experiences or thoughts on this topic. Thank you for being part of this journey with us.